The problem is that there's parasites that are in the contaminated water that in affect and infect millions of people worldwide annually. These parasites, um, such as Giardia, infect the intestinal tract, basically feeding on the small intestines. But there are also uh, far more deadly but less common parasites, such as uh, one called Naglaria fowleri. And Naglaria fowleri is found in warm, fresh waters, so lakes and rivers and streams. The way that the parasite infects humans is by when you're swimming in the water, they actually um, have a mechanism that allows them to uh, invade through the nasal passages. And once they get in there though, they enter your central nervous system, eat away at your central nervous system, causing encephalitis, which is essentially swelling of the brain. The problem with um, Naglaria fowleri is that it's very deadly and it's very, uh, the infection cycle is very fast and people typically die from it within five to seven days. While there's these drugs available to help try to um, cure people that have been infected, they have been shown to be not very effective. So for example, if you, you're infected with Naglaria fowleri, which is the brain-eating uh, parasite, is a 98% mortality rate in the United States, and worldwide it's a 95% mortality rate. Clearly there's a need for more, safer, more effective therapies against these um, pretty prevalent and very deadly parasites. For the past several years, um, the University of Colorado Skagg School of Pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences has been funded through the ALSAM Foundation. Um, and this funding mechanism is very interesting because it's one of the requirements is that it brings together researchers from other funded um, ALSAM Foundation schools. I was approached by uh, Dr. Anjan Debneth, who's the parasitologist at uh, UC San Diego. My lab is, has strong expertise in drug discovery and development especially natural products drug discovery. And so our, our role in this was to provide the plant extracts and also the expertise to purify the compounds. And we send our compound libraries to San Diego. They had existing biological uh, assay models of, of these parasites. We had a library of more than 20 plants that we collected from around the world that are known to be used for uh, as traditional medicines. The plant that showed very good activity against these parasites was the creosote bush. The creosote bush is very common to the U.S. Southwest and all throughout Mexico. My lab then purified several compounds um, out of the active fractions from that plant and we isolated a compound known as NDGA. It's been shown to have uh, potent anti-cancer activity antiviral activity, antibacterial activity, and more recently for the first time we show it's active against these pathogenic parasites. The next part of the drug uh, development process is to take NDGA and using rational drug design, you know, modify the structure such that it becomes more potent and more effective as a life-saving drug.